70 years after her death, the family of Henrietta Lacks is suing a, bio, uh, a biotechnical company over cells that were taken without her consent. Who's Henrietta Lacks? Well, back in 1951, she went to Johns Hopkins in Baltimore, where she was diagnosed with cervical cancer. The lawsuit alleges her doctors removed her cells and tissue from a tumor without telling her and without letting her say okay. Lacks later died that year. Since then, scientists have used those very cells in countless medical breakthroughs. But for the Lacks family, that doesn't justify what they call the exploitation of her body. Here's CNBC's Meg Terrell. For Ron Lacks, it's a proud but complicated family legacy. I mean, it's like our grandma was a superhero, you know, she helped me so many. Gila cells, named for the first letters of Henrietta Lacks's first and last names, offered a new tool to science. They continued to live and reproduce in the lab. The cell line has been used to develop medical breakthroughs like the polio vaccine, advancements against cancer and HIV, and recently to better understand the coronavirus. The cells are sold for research purposes by companies including Thermo Fisher Scientific. But the Lacks family and its attorneys say those cells were stolen and that Thermo Fisher's business, quote, is nothing more than a perpetuation of this theft. Attorney Ben Crump says the lawsuit, which alleges unjust enrichment, names only one company now, but that his team has identified hundreds that have benefited from use of HeLa cells. These pharmaceutical companies are making billions upon billions of dollars. And here at the Lacks family hasn't made one red dime from the use of first sales. Bioethicists and legal scholars are torn on the suit's merits. Even though the law is unclear, ethically, I think that we need to consider doing something for her and her family. I think that she's made enormous contributions. But they note its impact isn't necessarily limited to a verdict. There's lots of ways in which lawyers uh, force change on the world. Sometimes it's by winning a case, but sometimes it's even just by bringing a case. Henrietta's grandson, Ron, says it's about reversing a decades-long injustice. It's 70 years. 70 years my family went through this, so they see no light at the end of that tunnel. The suit raises all kinds of questions about whether there are others that might be in a similar position. Experts we spoke with note Henrietta Lacks is unique in the huge scientific contributions her cells made. And practices around consent have also changed. Johns Hopkins, which is not named in the suit, says it's never benefited financially from the cells. Thermo Fisher hasn't responded to requests for comment. Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.